Welcome to Researchers Come. In this program, we introduce the researchers from all over the universe. And today I'm at the Academia Sinica Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics of Taiwan. And today's researcher is Dr. Keiichi Umetsu. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, thank you very much, Katsu-san. Uh, I'm <coughs> working on the observation cosmology and gravitational lensing mm -hmm. here. And my current research topic <coughs> is uh, the gravitational lensing by clusters of galaxies and its application to observation cosmology. Mm -hmm. Okay, so could you tell me about uh, what is gravitational lensing? Okay, so gravitational lensing is uh, approach and uh, method for my research. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> it's predicted by general relativity. So gravitational lensing is a deflection of light rays by the gravitational potential mm -hmm. caused by inhomogeneous mass distributions. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> we can use this gravitational lensing to study the mass distributions of cosmic structures like uh, galaxies and cluster of galaxies mm -hmm. in the universe. So, what is your approach? What do you use as gravitational lensing for? Ah, okay. <laughs> so, actually, the, the target of my research is cluster of galaxies, as okay. I mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, cluster of galaxies is actually uh, <coughs> it's composed by like hundred or thousand of galaxies, mm -hmm. you know, galaxies. Wow. So, actually, this is the most massive object. Mm -hmm. uh, gravitational bound object mm -hmm. in the universe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because of <coughs> this mass scale and uh, <coughs> uh, this cluster of galaxies is very important to study the cosmology mm -hmm. <coughs> and the mass distribution of the universe. Mm -hmm. So actually <coughs> I use this uh, gravitational, le gravitational lensing by, oh, by galaxy clusters to study the observation cosmology. Mm -hmm to answer the questions, something like what is origin and what is the nature mm -hmm. of the universe. Mm -hmm. And also <coughs> to answer the questions of what the universe is made of, like uh, at what is the dark matter and how much, <coughs> how much we have for dark matter contents and what is the nature of the dark matter particles. Mm -hmm. By analyzing astronomical observations, we, we, are, we try to answer this kind of questions. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the one of your ah, experiment. Yes. And could you explain about this? Yeah, this actually, this, it, this view graph explains the uh, idea of gravitational lensing. So, actually, here is the central region of clusters of galaxies. So, you see bright galaxies here. Yes. And uh, this is the galaxy clusters projected on the sky, mm -hmm. observed by Hubble Space Telescope. Okay. And you see some distorted yes. kind of arc-like object. Mm -hmm. This is actually gravitational, le gravitational lens by these foreground clusters. And mm -hmm. these are background galaxies. Mm -hmm. So the, this, this is uh, the, not the real shape of the galaxy. Right. This, this, this. Original galaxy should look something like this, uh -huh. round. But this is okay. lens by the gravity, huge gravity of these clusters, mm -hmm. so that it gives this kind of coherent distortions. Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. we can use uh, this information, mm -hmm. distortion, mm -hmm. to map out the this distribution one. of matter projected on the sky like this. Mm -hmm. This color image shows mm -hmm. the density mm -hmm. of the cosmic objects like a galaxy clusters or groups of galaxies. Density, okay. Yeah. So you, you find the mass distribution of galaxy mm -hmm by using gravitational lensing. Yeah, that, is, uh, yes. that is your experiment approach. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go to the next topic. Uh, what you can give to other researchers? Yeah. Uh, could you tell me about it? Okay, I think uh, the first thing is so by observing the sky, mm -hmm. yeah, we can see this kind of gravitational phenomena, very interesting features, yes. very di distorted images. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> by applying our theories <coughs> of gravi gravitational lensing, mm -hmm. we can explain and understand this kind of gravitational lensing phenomena mm -hmm. 
So this is one thing we can provide. Okay. And do you have any other resource? Uh, yes. And uh, actually, <coughs> by <coughs> this kind of gravitational lensing studies, uh, <coughs> we can study the mass distribution in the universe mm -hmm. and large scale mass distributions. So this can give some quantitative <coughs> uh, information to understand our universe. Yes. So how galaxies are formed, how so this kind of large scale structures are distributed on the sky. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is uh, very important for understanding of universe and structure formation. Okay. And you do uh, a lot of uh, some uh, programming or some uh, calculations yes. using to make to make this this kind yes. of uh, data. Yeah. Actually, uh, we use like an instrument like a small telescope in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and we to first we need to analyze this kind of data. So we have to do some signal processing. Mm -hmm. Um, to <coughs> to use like a mass distributions from this kind of gravitational lensing observations, mm -hmm. we have to do uh, many various numerical calculations. Okay. So we could provide some this kind of uh, programming skills for numerical mm -hmm. computations, sometimes oh. simulations. I think it will be very uh, useful for other researchers. Okay. Thank you very much. So let's move to the next topic. Uh, could you tell me about your future research ah, okay. plan? So I'm working on this uh, gravi cluster gravitational lensing, namely this uh, gravitational lensing by individual galaxy clusters yes. to study the mass distribution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd like to extend this study to a more larger sample of clusters, mm -hmm. so we'll be able to constrain the, how to say, statistically average uh, mass profiles of clusters, and actually many <coughs> astronomical observations, like cosmic mi microwave background, mm -hmm. tells us that <coughs> as uh, about 80 percent of a, our material universe is composed by some something dark, dark, uh, what we call dark matter, dark matter. Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, <coughs> the tot 90, uh, 70 percent of the total energy is mm -hmm. composed by dark energy. And really? thirty percent is just usual uh, matter, mm -hmm. and eighty percent of this matter is mm -hmm. dark matter. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. actually, by studying the the, uh, the the mass profiles of these uh, galaxy clusters, mm -hmm. actually we can constrain the mass distribution of the dark matter in mm -hmm. clusters. Oh. So actually, by Anybody simulations, numerical simulations, mm -hmm. we can predict this kind of final state mass profiles mm -hmm. of dark matter for given model, mm -hmm. like uh, cold dark matter. It's a non-relativistic mm -hmm. uh, particles uh, with <coughs> a weak interaction. Yeah, for for which only gravity is important. Mm -hmm. Or we can <coughs> we can predict a model. Uh, we can make a model prediction for hot dark matter. Mm -hmm. uh, which is something like uh, neutrinos. Mm -hmm. So by comparing my our cluster gravitational lensing observations mm -hmm. with anybody simulations, uh, mm -hmm. we may be able to constrain the nature of dark matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you you try to find some um, model of dark matter, what well, that is very important to understand the the universe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. this is uh, based on astronomical observations, and of course, it's very important to yeah, work together with uh, particle physicists. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I, I hear that you are, you are very interested in the gravitational lensing. Uh, yes. Could you tell me what what is uh, what attracts yeah. you to the such yeah, this is, I think important mm -hmm. for, as a motivation for yes, my research. Yes. Uh, first thing is the gravitational lensing is very uh, simple, mm -hmm. uh, based on general relativity, so basically only gravity is involved. Uh, so as a, as a very, we have very little, we need very little assumptions in this kind of analysis. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And uh, every time I do this analysis, mm -hmm. meaning like a data from instrument, mm -hmm. every, every time I can, by uh, uh, applying some analysis, mm -hmm. I can see the signal 
mm, uh, due to gravitational density. Mm -hmm. By this, I can realize so the, the exists real, really this general relativity. Okay. Yeah. This, <coughs> this relativistic effect is really exists. Exist. Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. yeah, This is very exciting. And, yeah. It's very ah, exciting. That, so that is your motivation of your. Yeah, one of them, Yeah. Okay. <coughs> So finally, the, I would like to ask you about the, the resources you need from other researchers. Ah, okay. Uh, firstly, okay. So in observation cosmology, uh, recently, for <coughs> in order to how to say propagate the information in raw data into the final final scientific results, mm -hmm. uh, now we are applying some Bayesian statistics mm -hmm. so this is basically a mathematical approach mm -hmm. and if uh, we have uh, some expert on this kind of Bayesian analysis and the Bayesian statistics mm -hmm. uh, then it will it will be very helpful for um, proceeding with our research okay thank you and do you have any other results do, do you need ah uh, yeah another resource? Uh, second thing is uh, <coughs> Yeah, once uh, we expect, uh, after <coughs> analyzing a large sample of clusters, mm -hmm. uh, we may be able to give some statistical constraints on the nature of dark matter mm -hmm. in terms, maybe in terms of uh, self-interaction cross-sections or uh, its uh, velocity dispersion. Mm -hmm. So that is, if it's relativistic or non-relativistic, then I think to uh, to have uh, physical implications and for proper understanding, I think it will be very helpful to have a pro uh, <coughs> collaboration with a particle physicist. Particle physicist. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you if you are the particle physicist or the professional of Bayesian statistics, uh, please uh, call us. Okay, so that is all of uh, today's interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So today's interview uh, was uh, Dr. Keiichi Umetsu. So see you next time. Bye-bye.